the, the NHIF it is at the core of universal health coverage. What are you doing to help Kenya achieve UHC by the year 2030? Uh, thank you, Brian, and uh, welcome viewers watching this program at home. As you are all aware, National Health Insurance Fund, previously known as National Hospital Insurance Fund, has been given the humongous responsibility of implementing UHC in this country. As Maria aptly captured it, we were part of the team that took part in the pilot that was undertaken in the four counties mm -hmm. across the country. And our role was limited to registration, that is, uh, registration of the principal members and declared uh, dependence. Remember, the model that was used by the then government was what we call input-based financing, whereby the government purchased medical equipment, they purchased medication, and employed medical personnel to go and work in the four counties. Mm -hmm. After the expiry of uh, the one-year pilot, and after the lessons learned, it was decided by the national government and the county governments to change the model of financing to what is known as output-based financing, where uh, UHC was nested in NHIF. As part of the UHC scale-up, the government scaled up for, from the four pilot counties to the remaining 44 counties across the country. And in the scale-up... 43. Yeah, 43, rather. In the scale-up, the government agreed with the county governments to onboard one million indigent households and when I talk of a household, I imply the principal contributor, the spouse, and the declared children arising from that marriage. Mm -hmm. What happened? The county governments and the state department social protection, working closely with NHIF, were given the responsibility of identification of the poor and vulnerable households. The one million. The one million. Mm -hmm. These were identified by subjecting them to what is known as a welfare ranking tool that amongst others looked at the poverty index, the size of the household, and the geographical location. And based on that, NHIF was able to receive data that was submitted through the branch network mm -hmm. to our head office for processing. I want to tell Kenyans, the one million indigent households that the government paid for started receiving the UHC benefit package from last year, that is 2022, 